Great to be with you, Peter Barlas here, cardiologist. Now, one of the more common topics that I discuss with my patients is how to lower the cholesterol naturally. Now, during this very short video, I want to go through my top three tips. And we're not going to mention the S word, and I'm sure you all know what the S word is, the class of drugs that we often use for cholesterol management. But if we're looking at natural ways of lowering your cholesterol, let's go through how we might be able to achieve this. Now, number one, and I've had a short video on this in the past, is fiber. So simple things like adding something like psyllium husks or um, making sure that you've got adequate fiber in your diet is probably a very, very effective way at helping to reduce the absorption of cholesterol through your bowel. It is very good to keep you regular, of course, but having fiber, and that's one thing that I often find with many of my patients, is that fiber is not one of those things that they tend to consider when they're thinking about how to lower cholesterol. It's often their mind goes to, oh, look, we're in a fish oil. But uh, this is a far more effective way at having fiber in your diet. Now, I use a little bit of psyllium husk, uh, a teaspoon of that. Be cautious in how much you use because it can, um, you know, have uh, the effect of causing loose bowel motions. But, you know, a small amount of um, fiber added to your diet on a daily basis, either with some cereal, some oats, some yogurt, is a very, very good way to get a boost. And of course, making sure that you've got adequate fiber with consumption of your vegetables, and some fruit. So very, very important. Fiber is my number one tip. Number two, well, you might have seen some products on the supermarket shelf around where you are called phytosterols. Now, these are plant-based natural products that are found in plants and vegetables, nuts, legumes, and these actually help to reduce absorption of cholesterol as well. Now, in Australia, we've got products such as milks, and these are all milks that are fortified and they claim to lower cholesterol, uh, but they do indeed. So the data would suggest that up to 10% reduction in your LDL, your bad cholesterol, by incorporating phytosterols in your diet. Now, that may not be appropriate for everybody with high cholesterol, so always check with your own healthcare professional about, um, about uh, the use of any of these supplements, but phytosterols can be useful, and they essentially mimic cholesterol and the, the cell structure of cholesterol. Therefore, they get absorbed rather than actually having cholesterol absorbed from your bowel and therefore reduce your LDL, your bad cholesterol, by up to 10%. So a very easy way. And again, as I mentioned, they can be found in your, your, your fruit and vegetables, legumes, but you can get them in foods that are fortified and you know, in particular in milks um, that have the added phytosterols in there that do provide you this benefit. And my third tip is, well, when we're looking at optimizing cholesterol, it's not often just lowering your bad cholesterol, but how you might be able to boost your good cholesterol, the HDL. One thing that I find very, very useful is incorporating good oils in your diet. Now, by good oils, uh, one that I prefer is olive oil. So on a daily basis, I would have a teaspoon of olive oil added to vegetables, to rice, to chicken, to salads, and doing that without cooking it. So, you know, as you cook the olive oil, many of the health benefits are actually denatured and broken down. But just having uh, 15 mil of olive oil added to your vegetables with dinner, to your salad, is a great way to boost your good cholesterol and healthy fats. Now, there are Things like fish oil, if you have high triglyceride levels, well, fish oils are beneficial, but I often you know, don't like the taste and the aftertaste of fish oil, so it's not one that I, I, I go to. But olive oil is the key one that I incorporate. Another great product is flaxseed oil. Now, flaxseed oil often comes in liquid, 
and you can find it in the um, refrigerator section in your supermarket has a very very good healthy amount of omega-3 plus some omega-6 and omega-9 but it's a very great way a natural plant-based way to derive great benefits in terms of optimizing your good cholesterol again with flaxseed oil you don't cook with it you can add it to a to your yogurt to some cereal and uh, sprinkle a bit of fiber on top some cinnamon a little bit of honey that makes a great nutritious meal for you to have before bedtime so there you go they were my top three tips to how to optimize your cholesterol naturally number one fiber number two phytosterols and number three healthy oils particularly olive oil but obviously things like flaxseed oil and fish oil can also be very beneficial hope you found that useful until the next one bye for now